Hey guys, it's Jackie. I wanted to come on here and do some post burn reviews for you and post use of wax. I don't know if that's like the proper way to say it or not, but I wanted to come on here anyways. Um, I had the two Walmart candles that I hauled and then I had the wax from Candles by Jackie. So I'll talk about the Walmart candles first because um, it's not as fun as exciting as the Candles by Jackie. So the first candle that I got and did a post burn, trying to get where that sunbeam's not I mean, and I always itch my head like, the heck is wrong with me? The first one is Lemon Meringue Pie, and I burned this um, three days in a row, and I have to tell you, I cannot smell this. It's very, very light. Um, I still think that it smells like lemon meringue from the strawberry shortcake cartoon or character from like when we were kids. But it's really hard to smell. And just like that, Jazzy Sue, I swear, I think she wants to be famous. You know, she does have more followers on Instagram than her mom. Um, I think it's because I'm sitting on the floor and she's like really excited that I'm home. So here's the first one. These were, I believe, $7.88. I can't remember exactly. I know they were under $8. So this is the Lemon Meringue without Jazzy Sue's hair. These were the 12.5 uh, ounces. And then the second one is Romance. So here is the jar. And I cannot smell it, you guys. I had really high hopes for these. I would just say save your money, go and buy candles that you know are going to throw fragrance. Um, I had a couple people ask me about the other Walmart um, waxes or other candles that you can get from there, like the home, uh, Better Homes and Garden. And I just, there's no scent. I burned this one three days in a row as well. I debated whether or not to come back on here and talk about these candles because I don't want this to be like a Debbie Downer or a negative, you know, channel. My channel is about positivity and just having fun and reviewing different items, you know, makeup, candles, life. But I would say save your money. Um, these legit don't smell like anything. If anything, you could use these, like if your power went out, which ours did last week, um, the transformer in the train yard near us went out, so like a couple cities went down, you could save it for that. Um, to me, it will be in the way. I, I don't want to look at them. I'm either going to sell them in my garage sale or throw them away. But the wax from Candles by Jackie, which I only got the wax, I didn't get any of her candles, and just to preface this, I already placed another order. So you can already tell that I am excited about having found this candle company. Thank you, Kimberly. The one wax that I forgot to mention in the video was birthday cake. So I went ahead and warmed this one. And it smells like you are warming a birthday cake in your oven. So like I told you guys in the haul video, I cut them in half and put them in my warmers. So I have six of them here to review for you. Um, so the first one is Birthday Cake, hands down, a wonderful scent. It threw very, very strong on a um, fragrance appeal. This is probably like a seven and a half, eight. Um, this is a candle or a wax that you could uh, warm if you had guests coming over and you don't know if they have sensitivity to fragrance. Um, I'll tell you if any of them would not be like guest friendly or if you're not sure, you know, if your guests would have like headaches or not. So birthday cake, hands down. Love this one. Um, Berrylicious is super cute. She did a phenomenal job with this. Her attention to detail is amazing. Um, berries are just not my most favorited scent, but I put this in my living room warmer and I have to tell you, it was really good. It wasn't a very tart berry. It has more sweetness to it. So I was really excited. So I did use that one. It was called Berrylicious. Really like that one. I typically don't like cherries or like the berry families. Um, I've talked about blueberry before. They're not like... I prefer more like cinnamon, warm, bakery, you know, bread kind of thing. The next one was Fruity Pebbles. I put this in my kitchen warmer and it was so cute because they looked like Fruity Pebble Flakes. Um, so here is the name Fruity Pebbles. I love this one. 
It's really, really good. I think this was, would be a very universal scent for a lot of people. Um, it threw all of her stuff through a very good scent note. Only one, and I'll tell you about that one, and I've already reached out to her. I think it could be me. Um, it's nothing she did wrong. I think it's just like my scent palette. Snickerdoodle. Oh my God. It legit smelled like we were making cookies. That's how good that one smelled. And I love cinnamon. I love like warm bakery fragrance. Oh, that one was really, really good. Red Mac Apple. You guys, I have it in the warmer right here in this room. It has the little red uh, glitters on it. Love this scent. It is right up there with my Johnny Appleseed from Scentsy. You guys know that I love that one. I think if I mix this with Snickerdoodle, it would smell like a caramel apple. I am going to try that. Um, so this is definitely a scent I will order again. I really, really like it. I'm excited about the order that I'm getting because I think there's going to be some coffee scents and flavors in there. So I'm really excited. Okay, side note. Cinnamon bun, Jackie. Mm. Really, really good. And no, I'm not talking third person. I'm really talking to the lady. She does watch us. That was kind of like talking third person. She does watch my channel. <laughs> so, sorry. Oh, and by the way, not a sponsored video. I bought all of these myself. She did throw, I believe, two extra scent shots in here. So thank you, Jackie. I didn't like properly thank you. So thank you for that. Um, but cinnamon bun, you guys. And this one was a really cute one. I kept the cinnamon bun because it was super cute. So here's the little cinnamon really really good and then the only one that I had issues with and Jackie and I talked back and forth on Facebook Messenger I think it might be me because um you really can become nose blind to scents I know that sounds like really crazy and ridiculous but it is true and that is the Febreze Hawaiian Aloha I warmed this in the warmer when you first come into my house and I don't know if it was a too strong of a warmer because some of mine are 25 watt. I, it maybe needs to be a 20 watt. But Jackie is so kind and she's sending me another one because she said this is one of her really most popular sales or ones that she sells a lot of and it has a huge scent throw. So I really appreciate that. I, I didn't want to say anything, but I want to be honest. I just... Um, I didn't smell it in my warmer, so like I said, when I get the new one, I'll show you guys when I haul it, and then um, when I warm the new one, I'll let you know, but Joe could smell it, so after I had reached out to Jackie, I said, can you smell this, and I can smell it here, but it's not very strong for me, and I like really strong scents, like the red Mac Apple is a very strong scent. And so she's throwing another one in there, and I thought that was really, really sweet. But Joe said he could smell it. So I don't know. It might be me, but I just wanted to be honest with you guys, and I did reach back out to her, and she has wonderful customer service. I really hope you guys go and support her. Um, I can't wait for my next order. I'm really, really excited. I think I got 10 more shots coming, so I'll have to let you guys know. But I wanted to give you my honest update and review of these. So Candles by Jackie. 100% recommend. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!